Um, we're going to talk about eating disorders and how stress and stuff affects them. I think it's a big issue because every time a girl walks into the bathroom, gets ready to take a shower, they all look at themselves. And I like everyone does it. And whether you're 100 pounds or you're 300 pounds, it's, it's the way that you look at yourself and it scares some people a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And I think that affects eating disorders a lot. Um, mm-hmm. My friend had an eating disorder and I, it hit me. Um, and it makes you realize that it's not just stuff that happens on the movies. It happens to everybody. Mm-hmm. And you need to learn how to either cope with it or help them cope with it. Because it's they if they are coming to tell you about it, they want your help. They don't want you to sit around and just be like, I'm not going to do about anything about it. You need to do something about it. So. Right. And I think, too, that, like, um, girls who are really self-conscious and have, like, an, like an eating disorder because they're self-conscious, um, I think that they refuse to get help because they think once they get help and they're, like, whatever, they don't have an eating disorder anymore, they're, they're scared they're still going to feel away. like that. Yeah. Well, they, they're scared that they're still going to feel ugly and they're still going to feel fat, but I don't think they realize that, like, the programs that you can get into – to help your eating disorder, they teach you how to love yourself and how to appreciate, like, who you are. And, and to love that's an even, yeah, and that's an even better feeling. Yeah, sophomore year, I, like, I had a trouble with some a guy, and I lost a bunch of weight. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't on purpose, but I just was never hungry, and I think that's a lot of girls' excuses. And I think it made me realize that whether I'm hungry or not, I still need to eat. And it could be just a little something, like eat an apple. It's, and it's, I don't know, a, an eating disorder is addiction. Like, it's addiction mm-hmm. to what your body wants, like what you want to look like. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people can't control it, and I totally understand that factor of it, and that's why it's hard to accept the fact that if your friend does have an eating disorder or you're, like, I don't know, in the middle of one right now, I think that you... Need to you need to be aware that there's so much thing ha- that can happen from it because mm-hmm. girls die from it every day mm-hmm. and people that are close to them don't know and you need to be aware and be close to your friends and tell them how right. you think they're beautiful because it is all about um, confidence right. and how you need it to be yourself I and saw, be strong. I saw a thing, um, actually I was watching Made on MTV, <laughs> and it was like these girls who wanted to be models, and they had a, a like a person, like a coach or whatever, like a confidence coach, I don't know what you want to call her, and she made them stand in front of, of the mirror, and they had to write on the mirror what they hated about themselves, and then she made them erase it and write something that they loved about themselves. Or That's she made sweet. them, or like one girl, she made her, like she hated her I don't know, it was something stupid like lips, I don't know. <laughs> and she, like, so she put on the mirror and she put it like, I hate my lips, they're ugly. So the lady made her take, like, take off, like, erase that and then say, my lips are beautiful, I love my lips, like, to herself. And she had, like, so many times so she believed it. And then it was kind of, it was amazing how afterward they, like, they really felt like that. Like, they were like, oh, I feel so much better. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I think